Hey everyone, today I'm doing a review video. Oh, my cat is knocking everything off my desk right now. Um, I wanted to do a review on these lip creams that I bought off Beauty Joint. They are the NYX Extreme Lip Creams and I want to do a review and swatch video for you today. I think I'm going to start off by swatching them all on my lips and then I'll move on to the review last because obviously if you're looking to buy these you really just want to see what they look like on the lips. For reference I'm about an NC20 from MAC. The colour that I was just wearing was Saint Germain by MAC by the way. So this is my natural lip colour kind of more or less it's a little bit more pink at the moment because of the lipstick but obviously as I go I'm going to be wiping off my lips so my lips are going to get more and more pigmented so I'm going to start with the lighter shades and go to the darker shades last. This colour here is called Nude Peach Fuzz. This is what the applicator looks like for reference. It's just like a typical lip gloss um, applicator doe foot wand and it's just in like a little lip gloss packaging. So yeah this one here is called Nude Peach Fuzz. And that there is the finish. You can see it's kind of glossy and very, very opaque. That's what it looks like as a whole on my face. And I wore this in a video and I had never gotten so many compliments on a lip colour. Because it's kind of like a nude, but it's not a kind of nude that's going to wash you out. It's got that kind of peach tone to it. It's really, really, really nice. Like, I don't know, if you have a hard time pulling off straight nudes because they wash you out too much, this could definitely be one to try. The next one I have here is called Natural. So you can see as it goes on, it's a little bit thick, the formula. It feels a tiny bit sticky, but not obnoxiously sticky. It's kind of just that amount of stickiness that you feel like it's comfortable and the stickiness is just going to help it last long. A long time. So that is that one there. Um, really, really similar to Nude Peach Fuzz, if I show you. That is them next to each other, so this is the natural one. You can see it's just a tad bit kind of like, I don't even know, like brownier, pinker, I don't even know. They're so similar. It's probably not necessary to get both of them to be honest. Like, on my lips they look practically the same. This one perhaps is a tiny bit more pink versus peach. Yeah. You can see that it really doesn't accentuate too many lines on my lips. It actually makes them look quite smooth. Especially versus the other lip creams that they supply, they're matte. This one is glossy so you can't see all the like flaky skin or anything like that. This one here is called Pinky Nude. Do not understand the label because... Nude? <laughs> it is a kind of berry colour. It's a darker kind of pink shade. Sorry about the messy application. Yeah, no, it's just a review. This is what that one looks like. Not really my favourite colour on me. Kind of ages me a bit. But if you like this kind of dark berry shade, then it could be one for you. My lips are starting to sting now. <laughs> the next one I have here is called Bonfire. And it is a dark, vampy, red, pink colour. So that's what that one looks like. It's quite a nice kind of red because it has that pink touch to it. Which is what I like if I really want to wear red because normal reds make me look weird. In real life anyway. Um, it's a nice colour. I don't reach for this heaps but that's what that one looks like. Again, it might be your kind of thing rather than nudes and stuff. Just like how, you know, everyone has different preferences. Saved my favourite one till last. Look how red my lips have gone. This one here is called Dolly Girl. It's a hot pink. I've worn it in a few videos. Gotten lots of compliments on it in real life and on camera. And I think it's the coolest hot pink colour ever. It's like a fuchsia hot pink. And that's what that one looks like there. And I'll wear this for the rest of the video. So on to the review. Um, I don't really remember how much they retail for. Maybe like five bucks or something like that. Either way, they're really affordable realistically. Well, for New Zealanders when we go to a Maybelline counter and the lipsticks are like 20, 30 bucks. My favourite ones are definitely the two nude ones. These ones. And the, what's it called again? Dolly Girl? Dolly Girl, the one that I'm wearing now. Application is awesome. I'm really glad it comes in a doe foot applicator. I would compare the opacity kind of like really closely to the OCC Liptars. They're very, very opaque. Um, and I'd wipe off a lot of 
quite a lot of the product off the doe foot applicator before I apply it to my lips otherwise you can get a whole bunch everywhere. Because it's so opaque I like that it's got the doe foot applicator it makes it a lot easier to apply to the lips. They aren't drying at all and as I said during the swatches they are a little bit tacky so it really just makes you feel like they're stuck on there. It's not real sticky like MAC lip glasses or anything like that it's more just you feel like it's on rather than a lot of lipsticks and stuff you put on and they're so smooth you feel like they're gone in 20 minutes so these ones I really like the darker colors do stain a bit I really don't know what else to say like they last a really really long time um, they make my lips feel quite moisturized they have amazing color selection I just think that they're really good and I would definitely suggest them the scent isn't that great in my opinion it kind of smells like like when you mix flour and water together and make glue. <laughs> I don't know, that's just my opinion. They are cruelty free, so there you go. If you want to see swatches online, all I did to pick my colours was I Google searched and Google imaged um, the Extreme Lip Cream swatches and that's how I found the right colours for me. I hope you guys have a really good day. If you want to see more reviews, I really want to do a swatch video on my collection of um, black label lipsticks by MAC because I've collected a whole lot I thought it'd be helpful to do a swatch video because there's really really bad swatches on the website let me know if that's something you'd be interested in I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you very soon